Today I want to talk about uh, something that could be considered bleeding, but it's more in our industry, we call it cartooning. It happens on tufted rugs. This is a pattern of like a three leaf clover. And what'll happen on tufted rugs is they'll put a pattern, see these red lines, I drew it on, drew it on here for a demonstration. They'll put the threads that are maybe blue like you see next to it, they'll put the threads right through the red to follow a pattern, sort of paint by, you know, paint by pattern and colors. And what'll happen is this red grid, this red pattern is actually drawn with sometimes it's blue or green, but most of the, most of the ones that we've have issues with are the red ones. It's on the grid of the rug itself, the, the backing, the foundation itself. So you gotta imagine that a rug backing looks like this in a grid pattern and they tuft they tuft these grids with the fibers of the like a wool fiber would be punched through there now <clears throat> we can't see this because it's usually sandwiched by a fabric backing called a scrim so when this grid is covered up and glued together you can't see the backing and of course the top pattern is the wool itself, the fibers that are punched through this grid. Well, if it's cleaned, sometimes a red line or a blue line or green line will show up next to this outline. And what we actually have, are seeing is the red pattern below it. We call this cartooning, where this red pattern that was not washed out before it was created because the tufters punch through here from the top side. It gets glued together, we clean it, and then these red or green or blue marks come through here. We can usually fix that, but just know that if you have seen a red, green, or blue pattern around the shapes of the design of your rug on a tufted rug, it has to be tufted, that chances are what you're also seeing is what we call cartooning.